Remember when I said I was going to do the STG44? Well, I scrapped it for now, because boy oh boy, I got some things to say about today's topic. Hey nerds and the zero nerdettes that watch my videos, I'm back, and today, my subscribers, we're covering the infamous Ray Gun. But for the purpose of this video, we're talking about the Black Ops 4 version. Okay, let's get this out of the way before getting into the base stats. The Raygun's model in this game looks fucking cool. Perhaps to whoever Atreyarch textured and modeled this thing. You succeeded at something in your job, whereas everyone else involved with Black Ops 4 zombies failed theirs. Case in point? That kid, that kid is a bad kid right there. If I do say so myself, I say so. That's what I'm not talking about right there, right there, right there. Ooh, that shit. The ray gun need no introduction. It's the original wonder weapon. It's been with us since Nocturne and Toten and World at War, and it's been with us ever since. And the weapon has stayed consistent in each game. So in Black Ops 4, it's gotta be as good as it's always been, right? <laughs> Wrong. Yeah, this ray gun... It's not great, to put it bluntly. Oh well, let's talk stats. The ray gun is an explosive laser pistol found in the box on the maps Blow the Dead, Classified, Alpha Omega, and Tagter Toten for, say it with me, the standard cost of 950 points. The weapon comes equipped with 20-somethings per reload, it gets 160-somethings in reserve, but this number can climb to 200-somethings with Bandolier Bandit. The weapon deals 1,500 damage a shot, making it capable of one-shot kills well into the teen rounds, but after a while you'll need an extra shot or two to take down a zombie. The fire rate is the same as it was in other games, at 180 rounds per minute. Reloads are a bit slower than previous games, at 3 point something something seconds, as opposed to the 3 seconds even of previous games. So the gun still kills the shit out of the normal undead, nova crawlers, and hellhounds. That's a no-brainer. But how's it hold up against Brutus? Poorly! He has way too much health, and he soaks up bullets like he did in Mob of the Dead pre-patch. You wanna know what the worst part about this game's ray gun is? The fact that the splash damage radius has been really reduced since Black Ops 3. I don't know if it's BO4's engine or what, but in this game, the blast radius of each shot is less than that of a fucking hand grenade. What the fuck, man? What? Okay, so the base version isn't as great as it used to be. That's obvious. But maybe Pack-a-Punch fixes these issues, right? Nope. As for the upgraded version, it's not that much of an improvement. When Pack-a-Punch, you get Porter's X2 Ray Gun. The gun now gets 40-somethings per reload and gets 200-somethings in reserve. But this can increase to 240 with Bantelier Bandit. Damage is now increased to 2,000 of damage per shot, and the splash damage versus the player is reduced. And that's all she wrote. There is nothing more to say. Oh, one more thing to say about the Ray Gun. That being, just like in Black Ops 2 and 3, the goddamn Iron Sight is still misaligned. I know this won't bother most players. But god damn it, it bugs the shit out of me. For perks, go with Quick Revive, Stamina Up, definitely PhD Slider to protect you from self-inflicted splash damage, and for your modifier, go with Winter's Whale. I thought Spider Sider was overpowered, but ever since Winter's Whale got buffed, whoo lad, this is a whole nother level of unfair. Do I care? Nope. Does the rest of the zombies community? Probably. For Gobble Gun. I mean elixirs. None were built specifically for the ray gun, but a chemical antithesis is always nice. And that's really the only one I can recommend. In conclusion, the Black Ops 4 ray gun is a bit disappointing in this game. I know a lot of higher ups in the zombies community say the ray gun is useless compared to all other wonder weapons we've got now, but this ray gun is just something else. That's not to say the weapon is bad, it's still great for early rounds but it's still shit past round 25. Hell, maybe even earlier than that. Well, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed and want to see more, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe for videos just like this. And if you want to see me cover a certain gun next time, leave a comment down below. I'll cover weapons from Black Ops 4, Killing Floor 2, or the Superior Zombies game. Let me know down below. And if somebody's already taken the gun you want to see covered, just thumbs it up, man. Comment with the most thumbs up will be the one we cover next time. Anyways, thanks for watching, and until next time, Goodbye, my friends. Oh no, there's a bear in my bed! Nope. Chuck Testa.